Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm very excited to share my little winter craft series with you. I've got a few different patterns that are great for beginner sewers and I thought I would share individual tutorials on each of them so that you can really see how they're made and if you're struggling with the pattern you can follow along on the video and also just for some Christmassy craft ideas or winter crafts to do, they're not all technically Christmassy. <laughs> I checked my computer this morning and I realised I'd lost all of my footage from making my winter collection. I just filmed myself sewing everything and I know that you guys enjoy those sorts of sew with me videos or just general craft videos and I was very annoyed that I've lost that. The ducks find it very funny. <laughs> So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you may not know that I've released a load of new products on my website. I've got some stockings, drawstring bags, and some hot water bottles. And now I'm releasing the patterns for all of those things and a little extra. So the first craft is a really lovely one. It is this felt garland. I have loved making little felt ornaments over the years, and I thought a little garland would just be so sweet. Um, so I've got a free template on my website if you want to have a go at making this. I've got stocking, a little dove, a bell, some stars, candy cane, all sorts of things. Um, and if you don't fancy making it into a garland you can also make them individually and put a little tie at the top and put it on the tree. So this could be a really great present to make for someone for Christmas or if you fancy making some decorations for your home, then I thought this would look really sweet. I used felt to make most of these, but on some of them I did have fabric on the front, so it definitely works if you have some fabric you want to use as well. Um, but I would, I lined it with felt, I did like felt then fabric, then felt again on the other side, and I've stuffed them with some wool stuffing. The rest of the project will be going up very shortly so make sure you're subscribed and have the little notification bell on so that you don't miss them. So yeah, let's get started and make this cute little felt garland. So you're going to want to start by cutting out your shapes. You can print this out in card or paper. I printed mine in card just so that I could sort of trace around it with a pen but paper is obviously fine and will work just as well. Then it's time to choose your fabric, and I recommend using felt, but you can use a fabric as long as you back it with felt, it tends to be a lot easier to stitch together that way. Then you'll need some stuffing of some sort, I've used a natural wool stuffing, and you'll need some embroidery thread and needle, and that should be it. So once you've decided on your fabric and you've cut your shapes out, you can then start cutting the fabric. I've started with this sweet little dove shape and you're going to want to cut two pieces of that out. Then fabric is a great way of adding a little print to the front of these shapes. So you can just cut the shape out in fabric and back it with some felt like so. If your fabric's really thick it'll probably be fine but mine was very lightweight so I backed it with felt and it made it much easier to work with. And then to stitch them together I use a little blanket stitch and just go all the way around so you're going to want to thread from the back and then catch the loop that is created at the back and that is how you do a little blanket stitch it's super easy and i just go all the way around using a really nice embroidery thread i'd recommend stitching the harder bits to stuff first and then stuff them and carry on stitching um so just sort of stitch them stuff stitch them stuff <laughs> And then of course you can add embroidery onto the front of these shapes. I added some cute little crosses and beads onto mine. It just adds a really lovely detail and a bit more interest and shape and pattern going on. I particularly love the little crosses I did on the bell. I think that turned out really sweet. Thank you. 
you don't have to do this as a garland you could also make them into little ornaments and put them on the tree just by adding a little tie at the top when you're stitching around I'd add it as you stitch I decided how to lay all of my shapes out and then I threaded them through the stitching with my drawstring threading tool And there you have a finished garland. It's so easy to make. I've got a free PDF pattern for the shapes, which will be linked down below. Make sure to stick around for my other winter craft videos, which will be arriving very soon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.